Hi, my name is Rick, and I'd like to introduce you to Orkist. Orkist lets you easily build data pipelines. In this video, I'll show you how to get a free Orkist instance, import a project from GitHub, install the code dependencies, build your first pipeline, and productionize it as a job to run on a daily basis. Let's dig in. To get your free instance, you can go to the homepage and click on Login or Get Started for free. Once you're in, you can hit the New Instance button to get an instance just like this one. Let's open up the instance. To build a pipeline from an existing code base, I'll show you how to import a project from GitHub that does not contain any Orcus code and show you how to create a pipeline. In this case, we'll use the Data Science IPython Notebooks repo that contains a bunch of interesting data science examples, and we'll focus on the Pandas one in particular. In case you're not familiar, Pandas is a data frame library that lets you easily work with structured data. Let's copy the URL and import it to the instance. Once it's done importing, we can take a look at the files by going into the pipeline editor. We can see that all the files are here. The next step is to install the code dependencies. To install the code dependencies, we go to environments and we will reference a file in the repository that specifies the required dependencies. In this case, we can type pip install r pandas slash requirements dot text and we can hit the build button to let it install the required dependencies. In this case, it will install pandas to be able to run the notebooks that are included. Now that the build is completed, we can go ahead and build our first pipeline. We'll go to pipelines and find the right files and drag them out to the canvas. In this case, we want to first fetch the data using a regular Python script and then use the data indexing and selection notebook to perform further analysis. When we connect the two steps, the order of execution is guaranteed and the data is able to pass from one step to another. One of the benefits of using Orkist is that it allows you to inspect and edit files of your pipeline directly in the integrated JupyterLab editor. Let's open up the notebook to see what's inside and test whether the code dependencies were installed correctly by running the first few cells in a kernel. We open it up and see that the notebook is indeed what we expect it to be. And let's run the first few cells to see if the kernel has indeed installed pandas. Everything looks to be ready. So now we've created our first pipeline. Let's create a job out of it. To create a job, all we need to do is hit the drop down icon and schedule the job directly from the pipeline editor. We can make it a recurring job to run on a daily basis, and we can keep the last seven runs to have a weekly historical view of all the executions. We hit schedule, and that's all there is to it. If we navigate to jobs, you can see that it's scheduled for execution, and we can see all its runs here. In this video, I'm only scratching the surface of what you can do with Orcus. There are many more features like pipeline parameterization, services, and more, but I hope this gives you a good first impression of what you can expect. We hope you built something cool with it. Please let us know, and we'd love to help you out. Bye.